Within this assessment, we will test heart rate, blood pressure, circumference, body composition, and from there we'll proceed to more of a dynamic assessment. The first test will be the YMC step test. You'll be asked to walk up and down a 12 inch step for three minutes. At the end of the three minutes, we'll take your heart rate again to see if you fall within a normal range for your age. The next test will be the push-up test. You'll be asked to do as many push-ups as you can and as long as it takes. The next test will be the bent knee curl-up test. On that test, you will be asked to lie on your back, bend your knees, and reach approximately eight centimeters up and down for as many as you can until your abdominals can no longer pull you up. From that, we will determine your muscular endurance for your abdominals. Once we have completed the exercise portion, we will go to flexibility range of motion tests. We will do a sit and reach test and a series of other upper body and lower body assessments while looking for tight muscles. Once that test is completed, we'll move into more of a dynamic postural assessment using the overhead squat. From the overhead squat, we'll be able to determine further tight muscles or short muscles. For the more advanced programming, we will need to test for plyometrics. Plyometrics require jumping with the lower body or explosive pushing with the upper body. There will be a series of tests to determine when and where they can be programmed into your workout. The basic strength workouts will consist of basic compound movements from the leg press, seated row, chest press, to more advanced to using kettlebells and a rope climbing machine. And if we need corrective exercises or flexibility training, that also will be put into the program.